standing room only tickets available for tomorrow night's game, but the Rangers are expecting a sellout. Our Brooke Rogers spoke to fans about the emotion and excitement that continues to build. That ball is hit in the air to deep left. If you're a Rangers fan, it's been a long, hard wait. I've been waiting for this for since 2016. We're young, we're hungry, and we're just we're ready to roll the dice and see what happens. The team store at Globe Life Field reflects that excitement. Retail supervisor Carmen Delgado says sales have skyrocketed over the last week. Seen a lot of upkeep of getting the new merchandise out in the postseason and a division series as well. So it's been pretty busy. It's exciting. Fans have endured losing seasons in a playoff drought for the past seven years. And 2010 and 2011, when the Rangers made the World Series back to back, might feel like a lifetime ago. But John Blake, executive vice president of public affairs for the Texas Rangers, remembers it well. Those 10 and 11 clubs were pretty much good from the beginning to the end. But uh, this club is. Uh, it's really been resilient. It's been fun to watch the young players here during the postseason. So it may have a little something special. Here. It's a grand slam! Both the game and the Rangers' home are different now. Blake says he's looking forward to seeing the new stadium shine, hosting the Rangers in the playoffs. I think it's going to be outstanding here on, uh, on Tuesday night. But this will be the first real test for our fans at a postseason game. One of the big questions for tomorrow night, will the retractable roof be open or closed? It remains to be seen, but Blake says a closed roof would add to the ambiance. It will be really loud in here. And when we built this building, that was good. that was part of the thing we said. If we ever get to the playoffs, it's going to be a great home field advantage. And fans hope that translates into a sweep. It gets me emotional because I just love this team and what they're doing. The, they have the grit, and they can. We just got to believe. All we got to do is believe. Brooke Rogers, CBS News, Texas.